Hey, how's it going? Dave2D here. So this is a Lenovo Yoga 920, and this is their hybrid 2-in-1 device, their 14-inch screen device, and this is a product that's been very well received by the media, by reviewers, by critics. They enjoy this thing a lot, and I've actually been using mine for about three weeks. Uh, I didn't do a review earlier because I've actually been using this thing as a required piece of equipment at work because I needed a 2-in-1 tablet there, and I've been using this one. And I would agree that this is a good product overall. I think there's a lot of stuff I love about it, but there's one thing that really bugs me about this product, and it's the tablet mode. Now, I'm gonna talk about the things that I do like about it first. It's a very well-built device. I would say this is one of the best-built devices from Lenovo, especially at this price point. They went with good material choices. It's aluminum all around, and the design looks good, but there's a lot of sharp edges around this whole product. And when you use it in tablet form, those sharp edges are really pronounced. Like you're looking at basically edges on the top, the bottom, the sides. It's sharp all around, and I really don't like holding this device in a tablet form. I feel like a two-in-one tablet device shouldn't be this sharp on the edges. Now the hinge that they use is the classic Lenovo watch band hinge, and it's awesome. It's just built really well. This thing has two major benefits. First, it allows you to fold the screen all the way down to the back. I mean, that's what makes it the hybrid two-in-one device that it is. And it's also a really stiff hinge in the sense that it doesn't matter what angle you put the screen at, it'll hold its position and just won't flop down or whatever. It's also nice for like artwork if you're using the pen on it. It doesn't wobble around too much. You can open it up on the bottom, it's just a bunch of torque screws, but when you get in there, it's a little bit disappointing because the RAM and the drive are extremely difficult, if not impossible, to replace. The drive is super fast, which is great, but just make sure that you configure it the way you want right out of the factory because you won't be able to easily upgrade the RAM and the storage. Now, the ports on this thing are good, but limited. So you get one USB-A and two Thunderbolt 3 ports. You'll be charging the device using one of those ports, and they actually support four lanes of PCIe. So if you have an external GPU, you're getting maximum bandwidth on this device. Performance is really good. It's running the new 8th gen CPUs from Intel, and the multi-core applications really flex on these CPUs, but most applications won't feel too different from the older 7th generation CPUs, just because a lot of applications aren't capable of taking advantage of the multi-core stuff. The GPU is capable of playing some lighter games, but nothing crazy. Fan noise and thermals are also really comfortable. It never gets uncomfortably loud or hot. The performance is quite good on this thing. The keyboard is excellent. Lenovo is known for making really good keyboards, and this is one of them. I got used to typing on it really quickly, and it's just a comfortable, spacious keyboard. The trackpad has good and bad. The tracking is good. Windows Precision drivers can't go wrong with that. The button mechanic is mediocre. It's not a bad click. It's just not as tactile as I'd like it to be. You can hear it. It's just more hollow than I'd like my trackpads to be. It's a fine trackpad, just not my favorite. Uh, screen, 4K panel on this particular one. It comes in a 1080p panel in the base model, but the 4K panel is colorful with good viewing angles, but it's not super bright. See, on laptops, like dedicated laptops, I guess I'm more forgiving for not super bright screens, but on a two-in-one hybrid device, I kind of want to see a screen that's just brighter because you often use it as a tablet or as a tent mode thing, and when it's in those modes, you kind of need brighter screens because you're not always sitting at a perfectly angled desk and stuff like that. I would have liked to have seen a brighter panel, but this one's not bad. The 4K screens come with a pen, and this feels actually really similar to the Surface pens, at least the new ones. 4096 levels of pressure, and it's a nice pen. The battery life is really good. It's a nine hour battery with a screen at 250 nits, and that's with the 4K panel. If you're running the lower res screen, the 1080p panel, my guess is 11 hours, maybe 11 and a half hours. So full day battery with ease. The webcam looks like this. I think the image quality is decent. It's not super high resolution, but the colors look okay. The image is actually being shot from the top middle of the screen, which is rare because on a thin bezeled screen like this, usually it shoots on the bottom, it looks up your nose. This looks normal, which I like. The speakers are pretty mediocre. I don't love them. They don't sound bad. It's just that they're positioned poorly. So in laptop mode, they're positioned right on the bottom. They just literally fire right into the table with like a millimeter of gap. It just distorts the sound really poorly. In tent mode, it's a little better, but you basically have this echo chamber where the sound bounces back and forth. And again, it just distorts the sound. It's also not great in tablet mode because the speakers are right behind the screen and the sound just kind of gets distorted and muffled by the position again. So overall, I think this is a good device, a great device if you use it as a laptop predominantly. So if you just almost never use it for other things other than a laptop, this is a great pickup. I think this is one of the best two-in-one hybrid devices that I've used when it comes to a laptop device. But the moment you use it as a tablet, things just 
don't feel comfortable for me. I just don't enjoy the weight. I don't enjoy the ergonomics. I certainly don't enjoy the sharp edges. Like it's just something that, and I've been using this for three weeks now, pretty regularly. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. So if that bothers you, then you probably shouldn't get this device, which makes it weird because that's what this was for, the whole two-in-one thing. But yeah, that's what we have. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.